Hey productizers! At this point, you should hopefully have your market picked, which we did in the last lesson. Now it's time to figure out how to position yourself in this market. Your understanding of the market will undoubtedly improve over time, so your positioning will inevitably change with it. However, it's important to think about positioning when you're starting, as it will make your initial sales easier and will help you create the momentum you need to continue with your business. But before you can position yourself in your company, we need to know and understand who your ideal buyers are. Male or female, how old, what are their dreams, what makes them tick? And of course, I've provided a worksheet for that at productize.com dl. So open up the buyer persona template now. It should look like this. You'll notice there's an example persona filled out to give you an idea of how to create your personas. There are also three columns for you to create your target personas. At this point, you may only have one or two in mind, and that's fine. This is meant to be more of a living document that you can come back to and refine as you run your business and learn more about your customers, but it helps a lot to plot out your best guess now. At this point, you should pause this lesson and fill out the worksheet before continuing the positioning lesson. Don't worry, I'll be here when you get back. All right, at this point, you should have filled out your buyer persona template. And now that you've fleshed out at least one buyer persona, it's time to figure out how to position yourself so that you're speaking more directly to that person. There are basically four main positioning pillars. Eventually, you may be able to position your company on three or four pillars, but when you're starting out, you'll probably only be able to position on one or two, and that's fine. So what are the four pillars? The first is price. When you're starting out, price is most likely going to have to be one of your positioning pillars. You won't have the track record to command high prices from the get-go, and that's okay. Positioning on price by pricing lower than competition isn't ideal, and you'll get some bargain shoppers who can be difficult to deal with. But here's the silver lining. Dealing with these more difficult clients will actually better prepare you to streamline your processes, which is a really good thing. So my recommendation, if you're going to position on price, is to embrace the fact that you'll deal with some difficult clients Use it as an opportunity to learn and also use it as an opportunity to over-deliver because some of these clients will become your first evangelists and will refer you additional business. You can also use price as a positioning pillar by pricing higher than your competition. And you actually can do this from the get-go even without a track record. How? By providing a guarantee. For example, you can say, I'll generate 40 leads in the first three months or you can cancel your service and get a full refund. Doing this greatly reduces, reduces risk for your clients, making it a lot easier for them to stomach high prices even when you don't have a track record. However, it dramatically increases your risk, so be very careful doing this. The next positioning pillar is service. Response time, quarterly calls, a dedicated account manager with a direct line that they can call, revision rounds, those are all things that you can offer that help convince a potential client that you'll be accessible, which is typically a very big concern. Quarterly phone calls also provide an additional touch point that can be a great time to upsell clients on more expensive plans. I just caution, there are definitely going to be some clients who really take advantage of your accessibility, so you should know that going in and place some sort of restrictions on the service so that you aren't letting clients run your life. I'd especially recommend limiting the hours that clients can call if you're giving them a dedicated account manager. Features is the next positioning pillar. You may find that the market that you're targeting is being underserved, and a feature that could really help your market is being left out by most of your competition. This gives you an opportunity, an opportunity to convince prospects to go with you in order to get a feature that they can really only get with you. And finally, you can position on expertise, history, and or track record. This is likely the hardest positioning pillar to use when you're starting out, though it can eventually be the most effective. Combining high prices, a guarantee, and track record is maybe the holy grail as long as you can confidently hit the target in your guarantee every time. To help you figure out how to position your company, 
There's a positioning worksheet included as part of the document's cache at productize.com DL. Go ahead and download that and open the positioning worksheet. So here's what the positioning worksheet should look like. You'll see our four positioning pillars there, price, service, features, and expertise, each with a few specific ways to position using that pillar. Filling out this worksheet will give you a better idea of the pillars where you'll be able to effectively position. If at the end of filling out the sheet you only have pricing as a pillar, don't worry, that's usually enough to get you started.